now we are going to write our remote mediator for that i am going to create a new package naming paging and within this paging i am going to create a kotlin class naming block remote mediator and this is a class which extend the remote mediator so the key is int and the value would be block now we are going to add this experimental pager api and also implement the member function so here we have load member function and within this we are going to use try catch block but before that we required a few parameters within our block remote mediator class so for that i am using in inject constructor and the first one is private while initial page which is one and the type of initial page is int and the second one is our private while repository so get pager blocks repo reformat it and the last thing which we required is our block dao so block dao now import this inject and it is time to write our load function so let me make some space so here we are going to use return try catch block so it will basically throw an exception which is caught in our catch block and here you can see we are going to return a mediator result so for that mediator mediator result dot error and pass the error okay now within our try we are going to first tackle our page number so well page which is a type of int and i am going to use when pass our load type because our load type is three different type you can see over here append prepend and refresh okay so now i am going to create two function for our depend case and for our refresh case so in the bottom i am going to create the function so the first function is get last key and here we are going to pass our state it will return me a block key now i am using return using state i am going to use last item or null if it is not null on that occasion we are going to use our block dao dot get all keys and pass it dot id now here you can see it will give me an error because our function is not suspend so make sure your function will be suspended function now you can see error is gone now the second function is get uh, closest key and here also you need to pass your paging state and it will return the same block key okay so return pass by using our state we are going to get the anchor position and within this, within this anchor position we are going to use the state dot sorry state dot and here you can see closest item position you need to pass the integer which is coming from our anchor position and also you need to check whether it is null or not and then after we are going to call our block dao and get all keys pass it dot id again add a suspend operator so now we are going to use these two functions within our refresh and append but before that i am going to write here return mediator result dot success in order to remove this error and pass end of pagination is true okay now within our refresh i am going to create a variable naming remote keys it will hold the closest key rem block key so this function is going to be return a block key so our remote keys is going to be hold that value now our remote keys dot next page number dot minus will return us the current page and when it is null we are going to pass our initial page now 
in our append we are simply going to create a remote case variable and here i am going to use the get last key function pass our state and we are going to use this remote key dot next page number and if it is null i am going to simple return mediator so mediator result dot success and in the success we pass true okay that means we are successfully reach our ending of our pagination and in the preprint we simply return the mediator mediator result dot success and pass true that means we successfully reach to the end of our pagination okay so this piece of code will return us the page number now we are going to make a network request call so for that i am creating a variable name in response and using get pager blocks repo dot get pager block and here we need to pass the page and the limit so limit is coming from our state dot config dot page size now second is our variable which tell us ending of our pagination is reached or not so end of pagination and we are using our response dot data dot size so if this size is less than our state dot config dot page size that means this end of pagination would be true now i am going to use when and pass our response so a response is success and error so use control d i am not going to handle the loading part we are going to use these two success and error event so with error i am going to pass mediator sorry mediator result dot error and here i am going to pass a simple exception and within our success the first thing i am going to take a body from our response so response dot data and we are going to check if our load type is equals to refresh on that occasion we are going to delete all the data which is present in our room database so for that i am using block dao delete all block keys and second is our delete all items or you can say delete all block item now i am going to create a preview name name variable preview naming variable and we are going to store the previous key in our preview variable so first i am going to check if our page is equal to initial page on that i am going to return a initial page or else we are going to pass page minus 1 if end of pagination is reached we return null else condition we are going to pass page plus 1 okay now now we are going to create our block keys and insert that block key within our database for that i am using our body dot map and within this map i am going to create a block key this block key has an id so this id is coming from our it dot id and here we are going to pass the previous and next okay so everything is fine instead of this so this will give me an error because a required type is int and it will give us a string so go to your block key and instead of int you can make this id to string now jump into your block remote mediator and you can see error is gone now i am going to take this list and we first check if this list is not null if it is the case then i am using our block dao and insert all remote keys you can see over here insert our block keys and here we are going to pass our list all right now we are going to pass our actual data which is block dao dot insert all blocks and we are going to pass the body so similarly like our 
previous case I am going to use body dot let and then I am going to pass this list within our database all right so that's it from our success and lastly I am going to check if end of pagination is reached and then or if it is not the case then we are going to return a mediator result dot success if our end of pagination is reached then we pass true if it is not the case we return false okay now copy copy this line of code and paste here instead of false we return true now remove this return statement to one thing and the thing is we need to check if our response is success then only we are going to check these two condition paste here and if it is not the case we are going to pass end of pagination is reached because we got an error so now we successfully set up our remote mediator it's time to add pager in our view model so go to your presentation layer and here you can see within our presentation within our screen within our home we have home view model so go to your home view model and here i am going to create a well pager which is equal to a pager and within this pager we need to pass config so we have paging paging config pass the page size so the page size would be 10 and we have prefetch distance so prefetch distance would be 5 second would be a remote mediator and we are going to pass our blog remote mediator and this blog remote mediator is actually taking two parameters the first one is our blog dog and the second one is our repository so for that i am going to create private well get pager blogs repo and the second one is our blog dog so blog dao get pager blog repo now everything is fine and the last we are going to use our blog dao get all blog items we are going to use this with the flow which is cached in our view model scope so we successfully build our pager and now within our home screen we are going to use this pager so jump on your home screen and within our home screen i am going to create a variable naming list which is actually use our view model pager sorry view model dot pager dot here you can see we are collecting as lazy paging items and within our lazy column so this is our previous code and i am going to remove this so we have items and we are going to pass our list dot item count and within within this our item i am going to use our post item and here we need to pass the post or you can say blog so for that i am using list dot it and it is not null i make sure so that's it and now i am going to comment all these and within our home view model i am also going to comment all these now i'm going to run my application and see whether it is working or not all right everyone so our application will run successfully here you can see so this is our application and this data is also cached so if you want to see the data you can go app inspection and wait for a moment it will show you the database so here you can see it is opening right now so here we go we have our blocks here you can see list of blocks okay so we have a lot of amount of data 
here you can see 40 data and similarly we have our block key all right so that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to tackle the details screen thank you for watching this video